In this video, we're going to perform automated web testing using the robot framework with the Selenium 2 library. All right, so let's now take a look at our test case file, which is a simple plain text file that I've named rs underscore demo dot txt, and that's going to be in the Python scripts directory. So there it is. Let's open that with Notepad++. All right, so we have a few tables here. We have settings, variables, test cases, and keywords. So these are each test tables, and each test table must begin with, uh, well, each test table name, rather, must begin with an asterisk. And here I'll just use the uniform convention of three asterisk characters, and then the name of the table as a space in between each set. Also, spacing between each uh, property and property value must be two or more spaces by convention here in the text file. And uh, just for uniformity, I've just used four spaces everywhere. And now in the test settings table, we specify the library that we want to import, which is in this case, the EM2 library. This is gonna contain keywords that we want to use uh, throughout our test. And then we have suite setup, which always takes place before each test gets run. In this case, we wanna execute go to home page, which is a user keyword that we've defined in the keywords table. So we're gonna jump around this file a little bit, but we're gonna get through it all. So go to home page is defined down here, where we use the open browser keyword from Selenium 2 library. And then we pass in these two parameters, these two variables, home page and browser. And each of these are defined in the variables section or the variables table. So home page is going to be the Google home search page. Browser is going to be Firefox. So when we open browser, we're telling it that we want Selenium to launch Firefox and go to the Google home search page. And then in the test cases table, we specify a test case description. So we say Google, Skillsoft, and find company LinkedIn. Again, you can make this anything you want, but it's uh, usually recommended that you make it as short, concise, and understandable as possible. And then we have our test case, or we have our user keyword that uh, we're going to use to run the test. In this case, Google and check results. You can see that's defined below here in the user keywords table. And this is going to take in two positional arguments. It's going to take in this first argument, which we specify as a value Skillsoft. And then it's going to take the second argument, which is URL. Now, what we're doing here in this test, if we look in the keywords section where we actually define it, we're taking in two positional arguments such that we're going to open the Google Home search page. And then we're going to automatically have this text Skillsoft entered into the search field. And then as a test criteria for the test result, we're going to have uh, Selenium locate this uh, result that we're going to pass in here on that page. And if it locates that result within five seconds, then our test passes. Otherwise, it will fail. So if we look at Google and check results, right? We have input text, which is a keyword defined in Selenium 2. And then we pass in the ID of the HTML component that we want to target, right? So here we have IDs equal to LST-IB. If we open up our browser here on the Google homepage and we right click that search field and click inspect element, you'll see that it has the ID lst dash IB, so we can target that field from a test case file. And then if I also enter some text in there, and we look at that search button, which is the magnifying glass icon here in the right hand side of the field, if we right click that and then click inspect element, you can see that has an ID of underscore FZ lowercase l. So if we go back to our test case file, there we have click button, Again, this is defined in Selenium 2 library, and we have the ID to target that button, right? And then as uh, our test case criteria, we want to wait until the page contains 
our results, which is going to be that URL we specified in the test cases table. And uh, if it does find it in five seconds, the test will pass. And we already spoke about the go to home page keyword. All right, so with this, we're now ready to run our test. So we're going to go back to command prompt and uh, we're going to use the PyBot test runner script and pass the absolute path to our test case file as an argument. Now, when you first run this, you might have to configure Windows Firewall to give access to Python. And as the test runs, you will see a Firefox browser window open up to the Google homepage. And then the text Skillsoft will be automatically entered into the search field. The search will then be automatically conducted, after which the search results page will be displayed in the browser window. If the Skillsoft LinkedIn link is not found within five seconds, then the test will fail. If it is found, however, then the test will pass. And then here in command prompt, you will be informed of the status once the test completes. So we see that our test has failed. And this indicates that the URL we had specified as the result criteria was not found on the Skillsoft search results page. But if we go back to our test file, we'll see that this URL is actually incorrect. It's actually slash company slash Skillsoft. So we then save this change and we rerun the test. And this time we see that our test passes. And you can also review the output.xml file as well as the log and report HTML files that are generated from the test run for more detailed information. All right, so that's it. In this video, we have performed automated web testing using the robot framework with the Selenium 2 library.